Hi everyone, welcome to Friday Sews. This is actually Saturday if you're here in Australia, but I've got some exciting things to bring you today. I'm actually going to take you guys shopping. Uh, we had a, quite a busy week. Let me fill you all in on the details. My name's Kristen. If we haven't met yet and you're watching the Dahlia Society, I'm here for the Friday Sews hashtag. It's a weekly catch up for all your sewing favorite people to let you know what they've been up to. Before I get started though, I'm gonna let you know what I'm wearing because I will forget. Uh, this is from last year. This is one of my very favorite tops. It's the Terra Tunic by Love Notions Patterns. And I made it in a beautiful uh, leopard print, snow leopard print. This is one of my most favorite patterns because I love wearing tunics and the Love Nations Terra tunics are really, really great pattern with lots of different variations. I've done it in a double knit fabric. This was uh, made last year, but I bought it from Spotlight. And I remember last time I was in there, I remember seeing it there still. It's a beautiful fabric, really, really soft, not too thick either, but thick enough. It almost feels like a ponty weight, but with more of a soft brushed finish and that side split detail. I really love the length of it and the buttons on the shoulders so i'll pop some pics up to remind you if you've forgotten that one but love wearing this it's one of my most favorite things to wear over stretch jeggings i know i admit it, i'm a fan of jeggings i can't help it they're so comfortable and i haven't ventured into the whole jegging making uh thing this season last year i made some dawn jeans but i haven't worn them because they're not the softest denim and I am just a lover of its stretch denims and jegging fabric so I, I will admit it I actually prefer to purchase my jeans I have got a favorite ready to wear jean that I've purchased and it's not an expensive brand it's actually from Suzanne Gray they're just very very soft uh, denim fabric so I'm not ashamed to admit that I don't make everything I haven't ventured into things like um, bra making or underwear that's something I have got planned to make some underwear but I actually haven't made swimwear yet and jeans of course I've, I've tried I've tinkered with them a bit but I still am yet to find a beautiful soft stretch knit denim so when I do that is when I will uh yeah decide to make myself some but at the moment I'm loving the ones that I buy and that way I just take that pressure off myself and I think we should all make sure that we don't pressure ourselves too much uh in as far as having everything me made in our wardrobe because really you don't get a medal for saying everything I made is homemade I will not wear anything purchased I think anything that makes you happy to make you should make and the things that don't make you happy to make you should definitely think about purchasing uh, without feeling any guilt so what's happened this week we had quite a bit happen in the previous week that is um, because my mum a lot of you have inquired about her and how her surgery went and thankfully it all went really well um, if you're not up to date with that my mum had two lumps in her left breast detected by a routine mammogram that she does every two years a breast screen victoria down in the Moorabbin. monash hospital were brilliant we went in there on the tuesday i took her to have a little tiny radioactive seed implanted and it lit up and basically they could see where the spots were so two days later we went in and she had them removed and she's recovered really well and not in too much pain which is great so we need to keep going back and having those checkups but uh it's all gone really well and she's really happy with um with all those results so thank you so much for everyone for your kind uh well wishes for her and i have passed them on and she does read all of my comments too so she has seen uh all my wonderful wonderful viewers just how kind-hearted you all are so thank you for that so when we went in to take her I took my eldest daughter Phoebe um, we went in on uh, basically it was we had to be there at like seven in the morning so I dropped her off and thought well we need to have a few hours um, to kill some time while she's in there normally with things like day surgery you're in for a, pretty much a full day uh, so we decided to jump on the train there at Bentley and we decided to head into the city because I wanted to go into Fitzroy, into Brunswick Street Fitzroy. And we got there really early, so there wasn't a lot open at that time. And they normally open between 9.30 and 10. So we had a little bit of brekkie. And yeah, when they opened, we actually filmed inside of the fabric store. I'm going to take you on a little bit of an adventure. You can see the storefronts. A lot of them weren't open at the time, but the ones that opened, we went into. And then we had a phone call to say at 10 o'clock that mum was already finished. So which was fantastic for mum because that's normally a full day. Um, but it really cut our day short that we 
we thought we'd have plenty of time to do fabric shopping so we jumped back on the train and headed in and picked her up um, but it meant that I didn't get to see some other stores that I'd been planning on taking you to but that is definitely going to happen because I've realized that the, the uh, on that line there that the great store the darn cheap fabric store in Glen Huntley is actually right at the, at the train station basically walking distance so I'm definitely going to take you guys in there and show you around and I know they do have a live thing every week where they take the uh, they do a live stream on Instagram and the actual fabric fabric store um, and down cheap fabric so that's one I do want to take you to but also Draper's Fabrics in uh, Fitzroy Brunswick Street there it wasn't quite open when we had to leave so I just took a bit of the outside of that store but that is one I want to show you inside because I actually love it in there and I have ordered some fabrics I want to show you from Draper's Fabrics as well so my next month may will be a fabric haul quite a big fabric haul to show you some plans and lots of lots of fabric that i've been gathering up to um yeah to hopefully inspire you guys but i did purchase a couple of things at the fabric store i'm going to show you after i uh yeah once you finish watching my little shopping uh hospital breakfast day out and yeah and also i'm going to bring you another episode uh probably on monday with some blouses that i've just finished uh, that i think you're gonna love and in some beautiful cloth edit fabric as well so, so come along with me on a little bit of a shopping spree hopefully you'll enjoy
So what did you think about that? It's a beautiful store. It's one of those stores that when you walk in the door, it's like oh, takes your breath away because you can see that row of Liberty fabrics at the back there. Absolutely stunning. But everything is like color coordinated. Um, prints and everything mixed and matched and it just seems like they put so much effort into the way the merchandising is the way they put their fabrics out are just very very appealing and yeah one of my favorite fabric stores so definitely one that you want to not take the hubby into because i find that i can just take my time and look around without someone waiting at the front and last time i took hubby in there i actually got him to film for me which was pretty good he was he's a good sport but it is much more fun to get you to go on your own or with a sewing buddy and you can really just relish in all those beautiful fabrics because there really is some unusual prints in there and there's also a section at the back with all half price remnants as well that you can go through and the staff in there are absolutely beautiful uh, and very, very helpful as well. So highly can recommend going in there for a real look around. And I've purchased on their website a few times as well and found their website really, really good. They do have um, worldwide shipping as well. And their beautiful uh, merinos, I think their black merinos are half price at the moment, selected black merinos. So I got myself a couple of meters of a beautiful weight black merino knit fabric. And I think this is just a beautiful weight. Uh, I've noticed there's a couple of new patterns out. I'm going to do a brand new pattern episode as well. Um, yeah, for, for next week, there's a, quite a lot of new patterns out. Um, but the Soho 7 have got a Cosmo or Cosmos top. I think that'll look lovely and a new free skirt pattern. So that will be out next week. Um, but I think you can never have enough black merino in the stash. And even things like basic black tops, um, the like the Vera top, say for uh, for example, from Forget Me Not patterns, I think that would be a great basic um, little top to have in the wardrobe. So a couple of meters of that. The other one I've shown you in the actual video, you would have seen me pick it up because I was in love with this from their website and really wanted to see the scale of the print in real life. And when I got in there, I thought it's absolutely beautiful. And this is this tiger print. Uh, in a rayon viscose fabric it's absolutely beautiful floaty fabric that i think will make a beautiful blouse i think a long line modern style shirt would really set this off um, maybe even the i am patterns um, shirt or the oversized shirt from the assembly line i think will look beautiful but the colors in that is just stunning i'm thinking i'm seeing it with maybe a rust color pair of jeans and maybe a khaki colored cardigan or even a denim jacket so really happy with that and um, yeah got myself two meters of that one another fabric that I actually picked up and I'd seen online in their clearance section and it was down to six dollars a meter so I had to get it and it's absolutely beautiful it's a chiffon georgette fabric with a gorgeous landscape scene floaty just glorious that print have a look at that it's like a scene on it it's actually uh, it's really quite beautiful I don't know how to explain it. it's like forest and river and like a landscape it's got pops of fuchsia pink some gorgeous greens and rust colors as well so i think that would make a beautiful wilder shirt from friday pattern company um, with that kind of nice soft drapey fabric um yeah i'm not quite sure i'm looking at the wilder and even maybe the heron blouse that i'm making one at the moment actually from um, sewing revival I think would be beautiful in that as well in that drapey soft fabric so undecided as yet but definitely I thought for six dollars a meter I got a couple of meters of that and thought I can't go wrong for that and then of course we ran out of time we had to get back and pick mum up but I would love to be able to take you to a few more of my favorite fabric stores in the city or heading in towards the city and also a lot of you have wanted to see the bargain episode from my cheap bargain fabric um, spots that I love to go to. Darn cheap fabrics I think you're going to love because they do have a lot of great bargains and there's a couple more I think you'd be interested in uh, hearing about as well so it's always good to have a good variety uh, for all budgets uh, yeah to tempt you all with some fabric shopping. So after my busy running around week I actually spent the weekend doing quite a bit of sewing. I've got my third blouse on the make now for Sew April blouse. I've made the Wren blouse, I've made the Vali blouse and I'm onto the Heron now. So I think you're gonna love these beautiful cloth edit fabrics made up in a blouse and that still gives you a bit of time and maybe a little bit of inspiration to get yourself sewing a blouse to be part of this challenge and try and win some goodies. Thanks for watching today. Hope you enjoyed all of that. And I hope you loved coming shopping with us because who doesn't love a bit of real? 
fabric shopping in real life. I think we all missed that being in lockdown, especially for us here in lockdown last year. Makes you realise how nice it is to have a day out in the city and catching the tram, of course, from Bourke Street. If you're not familiar with Melbourne and you are you live in the um, in the region, there is a tram that you can catch right at the front of Bourke Street Mall, and that will take you basically to Bell Street and to Fitzroy. And you can basically get out that tram, and you are at the fabric store heaven that you'll find there so i think you uh yeah you really need to do that if you haven't done it yet it's a great way to see the outskirts of the city and there's some fantastic little cafes beautiful little uh, craft shops and um some lovely florists and giftware shops up uh, brunswick street as well to explore i'm sorry i couldn't show you more of those of course they weren't open when we got there but we just uh, thought we'd run into fabric store and, and grab those and yeah glad that we did so thanks for watching today don't forget if you've enjoyed today's episode please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also if you haven't subscribed i would appreciate that as well and don't forget to hit that notification bell to know when i'm uploading any new videos and you will never miss out so take care and happy sewing we'll see you soon bye for now